So no relent from the training then, despite having the big trip back from New Zealand? Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was pretty tough this morning. Um, but uh, yes, yesterday was pretty light. But um, I, think it was, I think the last two days has all been about um, looking hard on the review, um, looking at the areas where uh, we didn't go so, so well on the weekend, which is probably towards the back end of the game, and then um, just fixing that up this week. Dan didn't seem so disappointed in the performance overall. I mean, is that the feeling amongst the boys as well, that you guys played well? Yeah, well, I've, I think personally we played well in the first 60 minutes, but the game of rugby goes for 80. So, you know, um, you know, you could always say that you played well, but we didn't get the win. So that's, um, you know, you always have to look hard at yourself, and, which is what we've been doing the last few days, and, you know, we're just looking to get better. Three uh, home games in a row. Um, how much of a boost is that for you guys? Yeah, it's good, especially after that last travel. You know, to get to New Zealand, it took about 15 hours or so. So um, I think to be back in front of that home crowd is awesome, and, and um, you know, just to play in front of your family is going to be huge for us. Is it just tired legs or the boys not giving up impact off the bench or if you guys are going to pin down what it was? No, nah, we just have to be more clinical there in the, in, in the back end of the game. Um, I think we build so many good phases and then, um, you know, off, off the back of individual error or, or knock, knock, knock on or intercept pass, um, you know, the game just turned a little bit and then, um, you yeah, we just gave them that opportunity. Uh, we lost uh, Isi Nasirani to a, to a head, head, head injury and then um, we're down to 40 men, but, you know, you, you can't, you can't pinpoint any excuses, you know, you just have to look at the whole game and I think, you know, it was just little things that crept up on us um, throughout the game and wow. which I said before is something that we're looking to build on. It's going to be a pretty tough test this weekend, the Jaguars are going pretty well. Yeah, they are, I mean, they're, they're coming off a, um, a, a strong win against the Melbourne Rebels so, and, and, and I think they've been there for a few few weeks now so, um, you know, they, they have no excuse of jet lag but, you know, we, we're, we're ex expecting a physical battle up front and, um, you know, which is something that we're working on again, as I said, throughout the week. Spoke about Izzy before. How's he pulled up? Yeah, he's 3D was training this morning, but um, yeah. I think he has to have another run this afternoon to, to, to clear that or something. But I think that extra day in in, in the week has helped him um, with with the eight day turnaround. So um, you know he's he, he's been one of the top performers. So hopefully we can have him out there on the weekend. How important is that for the players coming back from New Zealand? You got the, the extra day you're playing the Sunday. Yeah, it's huge. You know, you get that ex extra day over the weekend, and then um, you know you uh, to recovery, and then. Um, you know, because we're right in the middle of a five-week block, you know, getting that extra day is crucial. And, um, you know, just uh, how, how we plan our training weeks is also crucial with, with um, how the body feels, and especially the minutes with the boys that have been playing. How about the scrum battle? The Jaguars obviously pretty solid set piece. Is that one you're looking forward to? Yeah, and no, it's going to be exciting. Um, it's something that they pride their game off. So, um, you know, to meet them up front is going to be huge for us. And, um, you know, which is something that we worked on hard just this morning. But, um, yeah, no, as, as a front row, it's going to be an exciting battle and looking forward to it.